Thank you. And now, everybody, to cut the ribbon, Linda Willis, representing the kids of Lincoln School. And the man who makes our city work, Mayor Robinson. Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, children, Councilwoman Miro. It gives us a great deal of pleasure today to dedicate this new overpass. Right, Linda? Right, so all us kids at Lincoln School won't have to worry about cars anymore when we cross the street. Okay, let's cut that tape. It's wonderful to see how the community can pitch in and work together to help build a pedestrian overpass. It looks as if the entire town has turned out today to help Mayor Robinson dedicate this new footbridge. This is Debbie Collins, WKYK News. Have a good day. Oh, hello. You know, it's funny how some people say it's the mayor who makes the city work. Now, I do have an important job to do, but it really takes very, very many people to make any city, town, village, or community work. Now, take that footbridge at Lincoln School. I bet you have no idea how many people had to do their jobs before Linda could cut that ribbon. First, the people in the Lincoln School neighborhood, like Linda and her parents, had to tell their city councilman that they thought the children needed a new footbridge. Then, the city councilwoman asked other people who worked for the city to help make sure the bridge was a good idea. some people were sent to see just how busy the street was by Lincoln School. Others had to check and see if the community had enough money to build a footbridge. And then, when the councilwoman was sure the bridge was needed, she had to ask the whole city council to vote for building it. When the city council and I all agreed the footbridge should be built, that was the signal for many more people to get to work on the job. architects and engineers who tell us how the new bridge should be built and what it should look like. Surveyors and planners whose job is to decide just where to build the new bridge. And of course, the workers who follow the plans of the architects and engineers and actually build the bridge. Then there are police officers who help to keep traffic moving while the work is underway and some of the street is blocked. And if the policeman has to give a ticket to someone who didn't drive carefully enough, then you should to the that will mean work for the judges and clerks and other workers who have jobs in the courts. And the uh, chain of workers goes on and on. Hi, Mayor. Hi. Hi, Mayor. How are you? Now, we have the tax collectors who have to get the money not only to pay for the footbridge, but to pay the uh, engineers and the judges, policemen, and uh, even their own salaries. And then there are the people who have to prepare the bills to tell the citizens how much tax they have to pay. And after the bills are put in the envelopes and addressed, It's part of the mailman's job to see that they get delivered. Even the trash collector will have some work to do as part of this chain. See if you can guess what it is. Remember, the bill made out by the tax collector and delivered by the mailman came in an envelope. And once the bill is received, the envelope will go in the wastebasket. 
and sooner or later, everything in the wastebasket will go into the trash cans. Where the trash collector will pick it up. People like the trash collector and mailman have jobs that help tie together all the different places in our community. Apartments, houses, stores, factories, help tie them into one working community. A working community. Think about that for a minute. You know, a community is like a machine, one that works to make life better and easier for all the people who live there together. And, like any machine, a community at work makes noises. Listen, see if you know what jobs go with the noises you can hear around your community. Walden Rush. You can hear people at work all around you, knitting all the places that people live, work, and play into one living community. Follow that trash, and you'll see another way our community is knit together. That trash will be burned to make electricity. All right, nice day, isn't it, Mayor? Certainly is. And the electricity goes out over these lines that connect nearly every place in our city. other wires, too, for telephones. You probably see phone installers working in your neighborhood every so often. But the operators you don't see, only hear sometimes, also work at connecting places in our community together. Then there are the people who bring us water and gas, connecting our city with pipes instead of wires and people who help us get from place to place, like the bus drivers and crossing guards. Crossing guards also protect, and that's another kind of job that's important in our community. Firemen and policemen help protect us against dangers we can see. And workers, like these pollution control officers, help protect us against dangers we can't see so easily, like harmful gases in the air. Even the fire chief's car is tested. And finally, they're the workers in our community that help people learn, enjoy themselves, and stay healthy. Librarians here in the public library have that kind of job. Hello. Good morning. May I have your card, please? There you are. Thank you. And. So does someone you see every day. Who do you think that is? Come on, look around. It's your teacher, of course. Thank you. Thank you. And don't forget the school nurse, or doctors and other people who work in clinics. Who else? What about the people who keep our parks nice places to play? The men who cut the grass, and draw the lines on the baseball diamonds and plant flowers in the spring. They're important too. 
So when I hear someone who says, I'm the man who makes this city work, I'm flattered. But you and I know better. It takes a lot of interested, dedicated people to keep this community going. And perhaps one day, you'll be one of them. Say, speaking of work, I better get back to mine. See you. Have a good day. Bye.